had a motion for impeaching, the, removing the CCM for finance. As the county, uh, the whole of the county knows, Kiabu has had very many problems, uh, spanning from uh, pending, non payment of pending bills, procurement of goods and services outside the budget, uh, a CEC who has no crew what, on what uh, the finance de department entails. Uh, three things that she had done. One is a uh, non prudent usage of the county resources. Procuring goods and services outside the budget line. She has also uh, procured uh, an entity called MUA, which is uh, costing the, the county 319 million and through single sourcing, which is, not per which is not permitted by the PFM Act. The county assembly and any committee can summon anybody to come and answer questions or give evidence. This CDCC, Nancy Jerry Keruba, has been summoned by the Budget Committee and Finance Committee, and she intentionally refuses to come with no valid reasons. So that's uh, contrary to Article 195 of the Kenya Constitution. County government of Kiambu has had a budget of 16 billion this financial year. 10 billion was for operations, salaries, and maintenance. Six billion was for development. We are now in the final quarter of the financial year. The, the department that absorbed uh, had the highest money is 16%. Some departments have absorbed even 0% for development. We are wondering as a county, should we return the money to the treasury Having all the problems in all, across all the departments in our county and we turn the money to the treasury. The governor predicted the assembly. And the assembly in its wisdom, the members in their wisdom, decided for harmony, let us approve this issues for him. Not to realize that they are, the, 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 most of them, in fact most of them, are not competent as we had decided before. We, are, we, we can be able to to, to say not to say much because actually we are the ones who approve them but for this one I would urge the Kiabu, the Kiabu residents to forgive us. When the governor came to, came to power he suspended, he cancelled the contract for NHIF which were covering the Kiabu county staff. He, he procured a service provider called MUA in January. Yes. Actually he also committed money According to the, the financial report, he paid 120 million to MUA, which was single sourced, unfortunately. Uh, now that the, the, the 319 million was to cover the half year. For yes, for half year. Because previously we were paying 182, no, 211, sorry, 211 million to NHIF to cover the whole county staff. For this one, we are paying 319. As an, it's a private entity for half a year. The Assembly has uh, resolved to oust out the CEC finance, Ms. Nancy Kirumba, based on several grounds that we as the Assembly, the representatives of the people of Kiambu, we feel, number one, she is incompetent, number two, she has violated our constitution, and number three, she is very arrogant. Just like the Chair has said, it is time that the Assembly of Kiambu we do our functions that is mandated in the Constitution. Our function includes oversight, legislation, and representation of our people. We are oversighting what the executive is doing. I'm sorry and I must apologize to the people of Kiambu that first of all we had rejected the said CEC who was in the list of the appointments committee. But later, after some discussions with the governor, we agreed to give her time, but the little time we have given her, she has proved very incompetent. Just like the chair has said, this CEC should be the advisor to the governor. And from the report that the budget committee tabled yesterday, we have seen her not doing her role. Because, number one, the executive has incurred 120 million to procure 
the so said MUA insurance for the county staff. And the question we are asking, between MUA and NHIF, which is more credible, which is more reliable, and we feel our people should be covered under NHIF.